Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to explain you about the working of for loop. So in this program, I have included a comment which is showing implementation of loop, then a header file which is for printf or scanf. Then I have used main function. So main function contains several instructions through which we can perform any particular operation. So first statement is variable declaration that is int i. So I have used only one variable to implement this program. Then uh, a block of for loop is implemented. So as you all know about the syntax of for loop, in syntax of for loop, first part before semicolon is known as initialization. Second part is known as termination condition. And third part is known as increment or decrement. Now I am going to explain you the cycle of this for loop execution. So remember, this initialization only takes place only once because if we uh, reinitialize each time a particular for loop then we cannot reach up to the termination condition position so here i equals to 1 is known as initialization so i becomes 1 then uh, at second point termination condition will be checked so i is 1 and condition is 1 less than equals to 5 it means this condition is true because 1 is less than 5. After condition checking, control transfers to uh, statements which are written inside for loop. So first statement is printf which is printing my name that is Sanjay Gupta. And in second printf statement I have mentioned name of my website that is www.tagmh.in. So my name and this name uh, of my website will be printed once on console. After successful printing of these information, then I++ will take place. Uh, I++ means I will increase its value by 1. So it becomes 2. After increment operation, control transfers to again termination condition. Now value of I is 2. So 2 less than equals to 5. It means this condition is also true. Then again my name and website name will be printed or on console this is second time then i plus plus means i becomes 3 then condition checking 3 less than equals to 5 it is true then again my name and name of website will print this is third rotation then i becomes 4 then 4 is less than equals to 5 it is true then fourth time name and website will be printed then i plus plus this time i becomes 5 so 5 less than equals to 5 again it is true so fifth time name and website name will be printed now value of i becomes 6 so now if we check the condition 6 less than equals to 5 it means condition is not true so here uh, the control of for loop will get terminated so after this termination control automatically transfers to just after the for loop so here in this main function only a block of for loop is available and after for loop there are no statements so uh, control of program terminates only just after the completion of for loop so now i am going to uh, uh, show you the uh, compilation and execution process or real execution of this program so first of all i am compiling this code so it is showing no error or no warning now I am going to execute this program. So you can see that 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. Total 5 outputs have been displayed on the console. So we have implemented for loop and uh, we have mentioned a termination condition which is i less than equals to 5 and we have started the loop from 1. It means the minimum value is 1 and maximum value is 5. It means total 5 rotations of for loop will be there that's why five time name and website name has been printed on the console so this is the overall working of for loop which contains initialization that uh, will perform only once then termination condition and then increment or decrement so overall there are total four parts fourth part is statement evaluation so this is the complete cycle of for loop hope you have understood the working of for loop now you can implement uh, the programs which are based on looping with the help of this for loop. Uh, this is my information, my contact number, my email ID, 
my website and my Android app. The name of app is TechMS. You can download it from Google Play Store. It contains information or uh, study material regarding C, C++, Java, Web, Ethical Hacking, etc. You can also download tutorials and PPTs from uh, this link of my website tutorials.techimage.in. You can read these books of uh, mine which I authored and you can also watch uh, another tutorials uh, using this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for watching this video.